Hi guys, so now I'm going to do my review of the Nokia Lumia 920. Um, so here we go, this is the phone. So push that to one side. So here here is the main phone, body of the phone. So this is the you've got three buttons here, back, home screen, and search. And on the side you have three buttons, camera, lock, unlock, volume, up and down. We have the audio jack here to plug headphones in. Uh, SIM card goes here. And then on the bottom we have a plug-in charger or to put stuff on your phone like music or pictures. And then down here on both sides you have the speakers right so main main startup of the phone is this you can choose your own background and have whatever you like on there so basically swipe up you can have a password if you like and this is the home screen with all your tiles yeah whatever you like it's nice and colourful and whatever you like on there so first, let's talk about the software. The software is very good on this. Uh, Windows have obviously tried very hard with the Windows 8 for the mobile phone. Um, I like the fact I can connect it to my Xbox. I think that's really good. Um, and also for any other person that's got an Xbox, if they want to add someone when you're out and about, or buy a game on here and play it on your Xbox, you can do that. You can view files through your Xbox, you can use this as a remote. The the stuff you can do on it is just fantastic. We have uh, all these Nokia apps, which they're all different. So Nokia Maps, which you can guess is just a map. Uh, Nokia Drive, uh, you can hold that up anywhere and it'll tell you uh, where different things. You've got Local Scout, so you click on that, it takes your location. And um, yeah, there's one more. There's Nokia Music as well, which is quite good. And then there's Nokia City Lens, which if you hold it up, it'll tell you where everything is. Yeah, just like the other one. So you can download all your favourite apps like Skype, um, Facebook, Angry Birds. Uh, your news get a lot of news on here. You can get YouTube, Kindle. Then I've got games here. So. The appearance of the tiles, uh, you may be thinking, oh, he's got a red phone so he has to have red tiles. That is not the case at all and the background does not have to be black either. If I go on settings, I go here on theme. I've got a range of different colours I can change it to. So say I like green. My tiles will now become green. Which is, it's like the Xbox, so uh, depends what you like and it depends on what colour of phone you get because they come in a range of different colours. Um, this doesn't have to be dark as well, it can be light but I don't think you'll be able to see that on the camera but you can see that it's light instead of dark. So that's that's that. I'll leave it at green at the moment because I quite like that. Um, going down you got your email accounts that you just add on. Lock screen. Um, now on lock screen you can choose your background, you can change your photo and you can put whether it plays music or not so if I go like that and I press that I got the music button if I press play a picture of the artist should come up so that's Wiley so and then it will just go back to your normal lock screen after time uh, you can choose uh, an app that pops up at the bottom so if I get an email it will preview it at the bottom hit up here because I've set it on there you can set it to whatever app uh, you can screen time out password just just the regular stuff you can get on the phone um, you've got airplane mode cellular which is like your data package uh, this kids corner is good if you've got kids and they want to go on your phone if they just swipe sideways they can uh, play their games that you've put on there for them and stuff. Uh, there's 
there's things like battery battery saver if you go on they give you all details about your battery on there like this says it's got 74 percent which is 22 hours on your phone and it tells you since it was last charged you've got advanced settings as well they're mainly just to check your different things um, on bright you got another thing brightness uh, date and time backup so you can put it on a cloud you know like your Xbox cloud it's basically just a Microsoft one so if you link it to your email you'll have a cloud on that um, so you've got a keyboard you can have it in Arabic, English, French, Persian they're just the examples there but you can have it in anything it'll download it for you uh, language and region uh, ease of access you can change like your text size and your contrast and stuff like that. Uh, you got Find My Phone, so if you've of course lost it or something like that, um, it, it enables ways that you can find it. Um, I've got a Nokia account, and the rest is just like Display Touch to make it an accessories you can get. They're all Nokia extras uh, that you'd get on a normal Nokia phone. Um, there is, okay, so now let's have a look at the actual, the actual tiles now. So if I go to the bottom here, I'll just choose my bottom tile because it's easier. I can choose what size I want it, so I can have it long or square or small square, sorry, click the wrong thing, or small square, and I can take it back to big. That is possible for every single tile so you can personalize it to how you like so see I can put the little ones around one big one here you can put albums here as well um, so that's that and if I, I can this is the bat, some of the battery app I've got which tells you your battery and how it's been used all the day so if we'll have, we'll have a look at the Xbox now so we go on games here, Xbox games. So this will say all your games. You've got Xbox games and you've got other games that you can download. So these these are like the just standard games. And these are the ones that you can connect to your Xbox and have a look at. Um, this is your avatar here for your Xbox. And it will go across and it will show all your different things. Xbox Smart Glass connects to your Xbox. I will do a separate presentation on that because that's quite a big section in itself and okay so now we'll go up to the music so if you go up to your music you can go on music here so you've got all your artists you can press these to skip to ones and to whatever alphabet you le letter you want you got albums you can just go down to your all your albums so you can just go straight to songs you can make your own playlist and genres. I don't, I don't tend to bother with that stuff. Uh, in music you've got the videos, podcasts and store so you can actually buy music off the Xbox store as well. Um, the display on this is very clear. Uh, if I swipe sideways it just goes to all my applications and I can skip to a certain application if I just press that and it will give me the first letter of it. So if I go down it's all alphabetical um, that I think that's a very good thing because sometimes you're looking for things and you can't find them. It's an easy way just to skip to them. Um, I will now show you the a feature that it's got which I quite like. It's called Me. So you click on it and it tells you all the things about you. So you can go down to notifications that you've had in the last couple of hours off Facebook, Twitter, stuff like that. Uh, tell you what's new and you can share things, you can share your photos on this. The camera on this is very, very, extremely good. Um, I'll show you some of my photos. You probably won't be able to see them because they, they might not be in good quality. But this is one I've taken and that's pretty good quality. probably can't see because of the camera I'm showing it off, but it, it is a good, good picture. If you go on online onto Nokia, they will have pictures that they've already pre-done with the phone. Um, 
you can sort your pictures out, sorry, I forgot to mention. You can sort your pictures out by favourite, what's new, apps, so you can customise them. And then here you've got your yeah, albums, so you can have all your albums, whatever whatever you want. So it will also sync to your, to your Facebook or Xbox photos you have on that. And basically that's that's it. You got all your calendar and stuff on here, but this this stuff is it's a pretty simple phone to use, but it's got a lot of features that you will use unlike say a phone like the iPhone where it's it's very sort of simple and it stays simple. This is simple but it has everything on here. Um yes, I think I think Windows eight Microsoft have done a great job of this phone and Nokia have helped them to be honest um, I, I can do another video on the charging the wireless charging but I'll talk to you now about it the phone wirelessly charges which means you just put it on the pillow so I've got the pillow I've got the pillow here and all I have to do is lie it simply lie it on the pillow and it will charge there is also a JBL docking station, which I have further back in my room. But I can play my music off that, if I play it off that. That's what I'm playing it off now, which is pretty good, which wirelessly connects. So, and you just have to tap it, and that will charge your phone if you put it on top of the docking station. I can do a separate video on that as well, if you look, you look like that. Um, you got Wikipedia. You got calculator. There's also Nokia music. Now Nokia music isn't that much difference to the music that Xbox have done, but they're different. They're different companies. So Xbox is run by Microsoft. Nokia is run by Nokia. This the, you can see the conflict coming in between the two because it's a Nokia phone, but it's using Windows software. So. Windows haven't allowed Nokia to put any of their own features on, but they can make their own as long as it's within the Windows 8 range, so it's got to be set out the same way and use the same software. Uh, according on your football team, you can have a football app. Mine's Liverpool, so uh, Liverpool. Uh, you can get your Dropbox on here. Um, you can... Another thing that... I was thinking was quite good about this phone is it it comes with office so you can so if I click on that I've got it's a bit light but I've got word I got word documents and spreadsheets so I've got a spreadsheet here this is a, it's a hundred percent spreadsheet I'll zoom in on it you've got the different cells and stuff it works the exact same way as on a computer but just on a bit of a smaller screen um now you might be wondering is there any point getting this if I have a say a Lumia 900 um I would I would say your Lumia 900 is good I I have no problem with them and they are very good the only difference is is this is Windows 8 it has some more features but your your Windows 7.5 or Windows 7 will be updatable. Um, but the phone itself that Nokia have created here is completely different. As in, it's got a lot of different features. You can get a lot of things for it. You might have heard that you can get the wireless headset and the wireless speaker. And it's a wireless charging as well. You can get also wireless earphones. A lot of stuff that Nokia have done with this phone is based around wireless which makes it a lot more easier to use um, some people might be looking at this saying it's quite thick it's quite chunky well to be honest it, it does look it it does look it I was thinking that at first but as soon as you put it in your pocket it's if you take it out you, you wouldn't even notice it's gone it's it makes no difference at all it's comfy in your hand it's good size it's got a decent. It's got a really decent screen on it. It's got good quality calls on it, and it's got a front camera here where you can use Skype, so I can talk to people on Skype uh, using it, which is another good feature. Um, to be honest, as a smartphone in itself, 
I've got a couple of smartphones. I've got the iPhone and I have a Blackberry and I have a couple of other Blackberries up upstairs somewhere. And I have the, the new I had the new bold. Um and I personally do think that this is the best one I've ever had. Um if you've got any questions about it, I'll be happy to answer them. I'll be happy to do separate videos on showing you how to do things. So, any any queries or anything, or if you want me to do a video on anything about the phone, um, I'll also be doing one on the Windows Surface, if you're interested. Just go on my account and look it up. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope it's helped you. Thank you.